what is integration of root x or x power 1 by 2? x power 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus integration of 3 by 2 x power 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 plus c and so on. So, this is the answer for this function. Now, let us see how many methods are there in finding the integration. First one is that means methods of integration. Number 1 integration by substitution. Number 2 integration using partial fractions, using partial fractions and mainly third one is integration by parts. So, these are the important methods of finding integrations of some functions. First, let us discuss one by one. First one is integration by substitution. In this method of integration by substitution, we take suitable function for finding the integration of the given function. We find suitable function to find the integration of the given function. In substitution method, let us solve some three questions. Our first one is integral 2 x into sin x square plus 1 into d x. So, what is the suitable function here we have to take to make this function very simple to find the integration. Here let us assume let x square plus 1 is equal to some t. Then what is the derivative of this x square plus 1? 2 x and d x is equal to d t. We may get some doubt. So, why I have written d x and what about the d t and so on. I have differentiated this with respect to t and this x square derivative is 2 x into d x by d t that d t I have written here. So, for suitable this will be this will be suitable for substitution also. Now, substitute all this in the given function integral this 2 x d x can be written as d t and this sin x square plus 1 can be written as sin t and d t. Just see all of you is it ok or not x square plus 1 I have assumed as t then the derivative of x square plus 1 is 2 x d x is equal to d t. I have substituted these two values here 2 x d x I have written as d t and this sin x square plus 1 is sin t. Therefore, what is integral sin t d t is minus cos t plus c. You should not leave here because the function is not in terms of x. So, you are assumed the variable t the final answer is minus cos t is x square plus 1 plus c this is the final answer. Whenever you write the solution just check once again whether the function is answer is written in terms of x or not you can change the variable no problem whatever variable you want to take it t, t y and so on, but write the answer in the variable in which the function is given. So, this first one now let us see second one integral sin tan inverse x whole divided by 1 plus x square d x. Now, tell me what is the suitable substitution here uh, so that we will get the function in known form second one second one integral sin tan inverse x whole divided by 1 plus x square d x let us take let tan inverse x is equal to t. What is the derivative of tan inverse x? Tan inverse x derivative is 1 by 1 plus x square into d x is equal to d t. If we did not get suitable uh, substitution then go for trial and error method and so that the function can be reduced into simple form. Now, substitute these two values here this can be integral sin t because tan inverse x is t 1 by 1 plus x square into d x can be written as d t. So, therefore, sin t d t again integral sin t d t is nothing but minus cos t plus c that is t can be written as minus cos t is tan inverse x plus c. So, this is the final answer of the given function. Third one integral secant x dx in the derivative we are written directly the formula integral of secant x derivative of secant x is equal to secant x tan x, but here we have to derive in the list of formulas I have not given integral secant x formula. So, here we will derive what is the integral of secant x dx here we will multiply secant x function with secant x plus tan x and divide with secant x plus tan x. 
So, what I have done? I have multiplied and divided the given function with secant x plus tan x, why you have done all of you see. Now, let secant x plus tan x is equal to t. If you assume secant x plus tan x is equal to t, differentiate this with respect to x, secant x derivative is secant x plus secant x into tan x plus tan x derivative secant square x into dx is equal to dt. Secant x common, then you will get secant x plus tan x into dx is equal to dt. Now, see the numerator. The numerator is secant x into secant x plus tan x dx can be written as dt and the denominator can be written as integral dt by t, which is in the form of integral 1 by x dx, like integral 1 by t dt is equal to log t, that means log mod t plus c, log negative cannot be defined, that is equal to now substitute t as log of secant x plus tan x, secant x plus tan x plus c is the integration of secant x. Similarly, we can derive integral cosecant x as log cosecant x minus cot x and integral log tan x and integral cosecant x. Let us see some more examples on substitution method. Observe the first question, integral cot x dx. We can write this. This can be used as a formula also. How to find integral cot x dx? This can be written as integral cos x by sin x dx. Is it okay? Cot x as cos x by sin x. Now, let us substitute, let sin x is equal to t. The derivative of sin x is cos x dx is equal to dt. If you substitute the values, integral cos x dx can be written as dt and the sin x can be written as t. What is integral 1 by t dt is log t, therefore, is equal to log mod t plus c. If you substitute t, you will get log of mod sin x plus c. Therefore, integral of cot x is log sin x plus c. Now, let us see one more formula, one more question. Integral tan square x secant square x dx. Here, this can be split tan x is equal to t. Let us assume tan x is equal to t. Derivative of tan x is secant square x dx is equal to dt. If you substitute integral tan square can be written as t square secant square dx can be written as dt. What is integral t square dt? Is in the power of x square. x square integration is x cube by 3. Here integral t square dt is equal to t cube by 3 plus c. Now, substitute t as tan t. Therefore, answer is tan cube t for tan cube x by 3 plus c is the answer for this question. One more example that is integral e power x square to x. Here, what is the suitable substitution? Take x square as t, let x square is equal to t, 2x dx is equal to dt. Now, the given function can be reduced to integral e power t, 2x dx can be written as dt. What is integral e power t? Is e power t. So, e power t plus c that is e power x square plus c. We have seen three examples and we can remember some formulas to solve this type of questions also. What are the formulas? Let us recall. I will give star for this which are very important. Number one, if the function is integrand is of the form integral f dash x by f x dx, then directly this can be written as log of mod f x plus c. Easily you can see the first example. Integral cos x by sin x dx, cos x derivative is sin x. So, if the given integrand is of the form integral f dash x by f x, then directly you can write log f x plus c for one mark if you want. Similarly, second one, number two, if the given function is of the form integral f x whole power n into f dash x dx, then this can be written as f x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c, n is not equal to minus 1, remember very important. You can see here tan square x, tan x derivative secant square x. So, this is in the form of f x whole power n into f dash x, derivative is also there. So, therefore, this type of function can be solved using this formula f x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 
that is here tan square can be written as tan cube x by 3 plus 1. That means f x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. So, you can remember this as a formula. This can be used only for one mark and you write formula also there. Number third one, integral e power f x into f dash x dx can be written as e power f x plus c. You can see here e power x square into 2 x dx which is in the form of e power f x into f dash x dx x square derivative is 2 x. So, which is in the form of integral e power f x into f dash x dx the answer is e power f x that means here the answer is e power x square plus c. So, these three shortcuts can be used for one more questions and we directly you can write the answers. So, first one integral e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square dx can be solved assuming tan inverse x is equal to t derivative is 1 by 1 plus x square dx is equal to dt. Now, the function can be reduced as e power t 1 by 1 plus x square dx can be written as dt. Therefore, integral e power t dt is e power t plus c that is e power tan inverse x plus c will be the solution for this. Now, integral 4 x plus 2 and so on can be written as this derivative is 2 x plus 1 try to get to 2 x plus 1 here also there is one more method to solve this type of questions, but this question can be solved differently. I will take 2 as common integral 2 x plus 1 into root of x square plus x plus 1 dx. Now, assume x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t. So, that 2 x plus 1 dx is equal to dt. I can substitute here that is 2 into integral x square plus x plus 1 whole power 1 by 2 into 2 x plus 1 dx. This can be solved in two ways f x power n into f dash x dx. So, f x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 also you can use either substitution also you can solve or using the formula 2 into x square plus 1 plus x plus 1 whole power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus c. That means, I have used integral f x whole power n into f dash x dx can be written as f x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1. This formula I have applied here or using substitution also you can solve. Next one integral 1 by x plus x log x dx this can be written as integral 1 by if we take x as common 1 plus log x dx this can be written as integral 1 by x by 1 plus log x dx. Here the derivative of denominator is in the numerator 1 derivative is 0 log x derivative is 1 by x therefore, you can write direct answer is equal to log of 1 plus log x mod plus c that means integral f dash x by f x dx is equal to log f x this formula I have applied here to find the integration of the given function. Here also the derivative of denominator is in the numerator only 2 is lagging I will multiply and divide with 2 all of you see this one I am multiplying and dividing with this function with 2 1 by 2 into 2 into e power 2 x minus e power minus 2 x whole divided by e power 2 x plus e power minus 2 x. If you find the derivative of the denominator now it will be numerator it is in the form of f dash x by f x integral f dash x by f x dx. Therefore, the answer will be 1 by 2 log of denominator directly you can write for one more question e power 2 x plus e power minus 2 x plus c. So, this will be the answer for the question. So, so far we have seen how to find integrations of functions using substitution method. In the next section we will be discussing the uh, functions uh, finding integration using trigonometric identities. Recall all the trigonometric identities we will see.